Leidner is back and so is Weaves. What's up guys? This time a new course, a new subject, something which everybody is searching desperately on YouTube, Android. And I'm gonna rule this one with all my Leidner style in this. So in this app, I'm not gonna do anything much, very simple. Gonna go ahead, run the first Android project that is Hello World blah 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 in this something called ADD tools. Now ADD tools is nothing but just your Eclipse and your stuff bundled together so that you don't have to download all of them separately. Now when should you go for ADD tools? Well, if you don't have Eclipse installed, if you don't have anything on your comp for running Android, then this is the best way to go about it. So here, let's see what we need for this. We only need two things. We only need the Java JDK and the Android ADT tools. Nothing else other than that, guys. Nothing else. Just download the Java, just download that 400 MB ADT tools package and you're up and running with Android's first app. So with that being said, let's get into action and start with Android this time. So first, I'm gonna get the JDK from the link which I put up. I'm gonna download it for my 64-bit Windows. You guys have to check which OS you have. Click accept license agreement and go ahead. I select for Windows 64-bit. I just I use my download manager, and then click next. Next, keep the default location as it is. Click next. At this point, it's done. And then I need the Android SDK, which is a piece of software for running Android. Again, I'll have to select this for my 64-bit Windows. So I say I have read the agreement, 64-bit. Download the SDK. And this has everything, my Eclipse, Android devices, platforms, everything. So let's go ahead, extract the folder, I'll delete the original zip file, go inside. As you guys can see there's Eclipse and there's the SDK manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get this running with Eclipse, which, is, which comes in built with this. I'll set the default location where my project should be saved. I'll click OK. And now there's a welcome message get rid of it I hate welcome messages from IDEs no offense <laughs> so next I'm gonna go to Android virtual device manager create my new device to run Android apps you need a device right so the device is to be created first and that's what exactly we are gonna do here we are gonna select the device type as a Nexus 7 inch gonna target the latest platform which is Android level 17 at the time of making this vid and I'm gonna click OK so at this point we are almost done, we have made the device, we just need to make our project. I'm gonna start the device, click launch, and bam, there you see my Android phone is running on the PC, don't you? So click OK. So now I need to make my first app on Android, I'm gonna say file, new Android application project call it test package name I'm gonna give it slidener.waves for the package you can give anything you want so at this point you don't have to think about anything else just let the options be as it is click next I don't need a custom launcher icon which is gonna be an image click next blah 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 finish so now I have my test which is running on Android device there you go hello world once you run it. So I hope you guys got something out of this. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let's talk, have a chat and figure out what better interests we have other than making code and stuff. And of course if you want any suggestions, blah blah blah, you're welcome. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day from Slidenerd. We'll say bye.